Now, we're used to seeing racing pundit John McCrick looking like this, but after a TV appearance last week, concerns were raised for John's health after he appeared looking a bit different. Well, John joins us now to uh, to explain what's uh, what's going on. And there's no no question. I mean, people watch Bebots uh, on Channel 5 and thought, oh, my God, what's, you know, is he, is he ill? Is he poorly? And so, first question's got to be, are you OK? Well, I'm getting better, getting better slowly, but I feel now that I'm in a surgery with Dr Holly uh... and Nurse Philip. So, in other words, you <laughs> What treatments you're going to give me and all that sort of thing? Oh. No, um, I had flu. Yeah. And people think flu. And by the way, everybody take a flu jab. Mm. Whatever you do, have a flu jab and have it as soon as you can, as long as your doctor says it's all right and all mm. that. Um, but I had flu, but it's, it's far worse than that. Mm. Absolutely flattens you. I couldn't speak for about three months. You know, your vo the voice right. wasn't going. And everything. You you can't read long. It, was, it, it it really was awful. Mm. And um, and you get weaker and and you're on antibiotics and all the sort of thing. Yeah. But there wasn't something wrong that they could go and cure. So there's nothing wrong they can go and cure, you're fine, but they've got a chest infection and it's, um, you know, I'm weaker, and, but recovering, but only slowly. So that was in yeah. January? Uh, Jan January the 5th, yeah. So that really did... It's that, a long that, time. Oh, it me. Absolutely, it fattened me. A lot of people have been... People say, oh, you've got the flu. Well, we, everybody's had the flu and a cough and, sn and sniffing and all that sort of thing. But this here, this flu it absolutely puts you back and they fill you full of pills and all that sort of thing. Mm. So before before you got the flu in January, had you been trying to lose a bit of weight yes, anyway? Yes. So you'd sort of... Been... Well, ever since I was sacked uh, in, 19, uh, in, in 2012, 21-12 uh, now, um, by Channel 4 Racing, yeah. you feel depressed. You lose a purpose in life. I wake up now in the morning... What have I got to do? I've got Jeremy Kyle. I've got this morning to watch. I'm trying to keep away from Judge Went Rinder, and I've got no deal or no deal. Got no purpose in life. Imagine if you woke up no job, mm. or you worked all your lives, and suddenly, for whatever reason, either the illness or some of the executives and the suits and the skirts sacked you. What would you do? Well, you two would be all right anyway, but I'm saying having no purpose in life, yeah. it's terrible. We've so got, say to we... anybody, don't retire. Yeah, because you've got, you've got Jenny on the, uh, on the, on the yeah. sofa uh, uh, over, oh, over the there. Oh, the good old booby. So, yes, we'll come to that in a moment. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but, but she's been, she's been your, oh, your rock, and, and so, so weren't there... Couldn't you then think, right, OK, well, now's the time for me to... Um, for us to be together and us to do all the things that, that, that we wanted no, to do? Not, I've worked over 50 years, every day I've worked in my life. Never been late for a job, ever. Never been late, never missed a day's work, ever. Mm. However ill I felt, you do it. And the great motto in life I've got, work comes first. Mm. It comes before family, it comes before everything else, because you can't look after your family if you're not working. Mm. Right, you can do it on the, on the um, benefits and all that, but in fairness, you've got to be working. Mm. to give you a purpose in life. And when you haven't got that, when you wake up in the morning and you've got just this morning to go and watch as your highlight of your day, mm. great as it is, but nevertheless, you feel um, sort of you're lacking. So I'm saying to anybody who coming near retiring age, try and retire in stages if you can. Many yeah. have got no choice. Mm. And we've got this system now that... And always remember, any new person who comes in to run a media organisation, mm. steelworks, any firm, company or office, mm. have got to sack people to prove that they are in charge. But I'm in charge now. One or two of you can go. And the people have been the victims of that. But isn't that, isn't that the nature of our... Job. All because, jobs. because you are freelance and because yes. you know you, uh, you there is no job guarantee. No. You have you know you, you don't have to have a written warning, you know, no. anything like that. No. You just get your contract revoked well, and that's the end of yeah. it. I was very lucky. 30 years on Channel 4 Racing. Yeah. The longest running sports program probably in history. I worked on Grandstand for 10 years as a sub editor on Grandstand behind Frank Boff and mm. Des Lynam and all that, the awful David Coleman, but I worked behind them. But for, working for Channel 4 Racing over 30 years, which is an amazing record. Mm. Yeah. You know, you no, come up to your 30th... You have a run. You come to your 30th and you, you're the second or third. Yeah. That's right. Uh, you know, yeah, you're right. you're right. You're right. So do you think... To, are, you saying, are you saying that l losing, losing your job... Yes. Um, ..contributed to... Oh, no to, question. Yeah. No question. I, I, I determined then to lose weight. I was over 19 stone. And always remember, you never see fat old men. Winston Churchill, Robert Morley, one or two others, most of them are old because you can't carry the weight, and quite rightly. So they go around on sticks and all that sort of thing, and they're thin. 
So I, I, I lost weight steadily. Look at the Labour Party deputy leader, Tom Watson. He's lost seven stone in over, about two years. Doesn't he look, whatever you think about his politics, doesn't he look so much better for it? Were, were you surprised then by the reaction that everybody was, was concerned to read? No, but you're thinking you're all on the, on the media. And, and, and in the social media and everything, that's what it is. Few people were sent in. I don't, I don't know, you know. Because you're not was, on social media. Well, there was, there's been a survey taken recently. Four million people have never seen the internet. Four million. I say it's four million and one, because put me in it as well. Never, never seen it. Mm. Um, I'm not boasting. It's pathetic. And my age is a wonderful thing. I remember when I was a journalist in an office, you'd be shouting across the office, how do you spell Hillary? Mm. And nobody knew it's one L or two. Mm. Now you just look it up on Google, whatever it is, and that's it. So I'm not boasting, but there are a lot of people who never, ever see, see, have seen the internet. But the ones that did, I yes. mean, the, the people that were watching... Yeah, but they're, but they're just there. a few, Philip, aren't they? But they were concerned, though. That's yeah. a nice thing, yeah. surely. Well, I suppose not many people are concerned about, about me. they genuinely were, well, though. Well, I, I, I don't know. There's only a few, and then it, it follows on, and other people copy them and all that. Mm. So, you know, the, the media is... Um, the, the, the social media, tremendous advantage and all that. But it does allow in you that what you, you get, you two must get with the vile trolls as well, as people loving you and all that sort of Oh, you've so got to be horrible. a little bit bulletproof to oh, all that. Really just horrible, got to let it, let horrible people out there. So how, how, are you doing, how are you doing now then? I mean, you're obviously, this was in gen you're still not, not well, I'm not. Well, I'm not well. And when, when you're 78 as I am, I'm never going to fully recover, but you don't expect to. But, well, you, you, hope but, so. you, you, but not fully recover, because the age has taken on and whatever else has happened and all that sort of thing, antibiotics and all that. So you, know, you hope, and I'm saying to everybody, set yourself a target. If you're not well and you're ill and you're either in hospital or at home or you're being looked after, set yourself a target that you will reach in, say, three or six months' time. Mm -hmm. Have an aim, an ambition, a drive. Well, what's, your, what's your aim and well, ambition, I, then? Well, I've been to a few race meetings, but it's pathetic because people regard me as a dinosaur. You know, an old fellow, what on earth are you doing? Yes, I used to think that older journalists had retired when I was in the press room. Mm -hmm. So you feel you've got that sort of thing. They're looking at oh, this poor chap and he's, you know, it's, it, it, it is really sad. And they're very kind people. And they come up to you and say, how oh, are you, John? Great, great to see you back. And they're really well-meaning. Mm -hmm. But it's... it's, it's, it's so you really, want to be in it. You, you, in it. you have to be in it. You have yeah. to work. Well, I, um, I was saying, because you, you do call Jenny... Um, the booby, yes. which we'll explain in a moment. Uh, but uh, but you, of course, now now he is spending more time at, at home. Um, I suppose you probably got the sympathy of the nation that, uh, <laughs> that he's with he's with you so much more. Well, I can find things to do. I've got two Labradors at home, so I walk them a lot. Yes. And I work them in the winter, and I ride and things. So there's always something to do, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. You know, and I have to do a whole. If you talk about social media and Twitter, although he's been. Since he hasn't feel well, felt very well, he hasn't done very much. But whenever he does, I have to do it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, I mean, the, 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 the booby, I just want to ask you, I know you've said this is OK and it's a term of affection and all that sort of stuff, but I'm going to explain why. And you've said this, these are your words, a booby is a South American bird. Mm. It's rather pathetic and yes. it hovers around runways and gets run over a lot. Yes. It squawks a lot, yes. it's not very bright, and it sums up my one. Oh. <laughs> what do you, what do you, fuck it on what do you say to that? Do I... Look, it's all, it's all a pantomime, isn't it? And it keeps people amused. I mean, do I look like somebody who's downtrodden? I don't think... No. No, 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 no. she's not. No. So, no. Uh, I think you are a very lucky man, actually. I got actually. a suggestion Let me that. for the producers of this morning. Mm. Have a carer of the year. Because there are a lot of carers out there, thousands of people, unpaid, mm. looking after... We sick. have actually, we, we have do actually a lot done that. Yeah, well, good. We well, here's another one. And the booby should be the carer of the century. Aww. Because she is... How she looks after me. Because I'm not the easiest of patients. I wonder, I I wonder why that. we get that impression. <laughs> well, I'm surprised to hear that. But the other thing, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm saying the booby should be the carer of the century. She's fan fantastic what she does for me. Oh, well, that's fantastic. nice to hear, isn't it? Yeah, I imagine. Thank, thank you, Jenny. Thank you. And thank you. You look after yourself. And all the best when you're hosting the jungle. Oh, God, thanks. And what are you going to do without your partner? I know. Wow. Well, well, I did. Uh, you know, you, well, there you go. You know what telly's like. We move on. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Right. Thank you. I'm